Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to a pastor's house or a former pastor's house for a church that I happen to work for. Come along. I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't make it. Right. All right, let me see here. Mm. Looks like it's been freezing up. Whew, been freezing up a lot. Thermostat. Here it is, right here. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, we know the blower's working. Hmm. I'm gonna be in and out, okay? Okay, if y'all saw that ice, it looked soft, like it had already been thawing out for a little bit. So I'm coming out here. We're gonna kill power here. Turn it on the cool. And um, if this is a heat pump, it looks like it's a heat pump. We can jump it out to run in heat while it's set for cool and make it thaw out faster. Mm. Unfortunately with these cubes, if you replace the capacitor, there is not always a good place to put it if it don't fit right back in that hole. So I kind of understand why this is here, but it looks like we could have put it like right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is find a hot wire, either red or yellow. And we can jump to yellow right here. And up here on this board, we are, I just jumped to blue. So when I turn the power back on, it's gonna run in heat. jump it out on a heat pump I set the thermostat to cool and jump it out to run in heat out here you can do it with the other way with the ream and rude that's not a ream and rude excuse me and um, I do it that way because if you just turn on the heat inside and turn it up there's a chance you could bring on the heat strips and you're gonna cook them out of there by the time you get the thing thawed out so um, I prefer to do it this way all right, this is a 2007, so it might be R22. Yes, it is. And because it's frozen up, it might also be low on refrigerant, so that's not good. And look at there, that was made in Arkansas. I wonder if they still make them there. Well, it says Fort Smith, Arkansas, but assembled in Mexico. 
all right water has just started coming out the drain here if y'all can see that so apparently i had ice over the drain but it's draining now We still got a lot of ice in there. A lot. All right, that thing was very dirty but um i think before i turn this back on and run it in cool i'm going to do a leak search on it y'all forgive me i got a little head rust standing up that fast <laughs> Sir? Well, thank you. I kind of like it. <laughs> Sir? Yeah. <laughs>
Check pressures on it. I think the thermostat said it was like 81 degrees in there this will make it freeze up <clears throat> there's a chance it could pick up a little more heat but as you see that is below freezing my suction line is not cold coming back as dirty as that coil is if I had a proper charge that should be really cold coming back and it's not So we've got a very dirty leaking coil on an 18 year old system. Hmm. All right, let's take a look. So that's a 2007 three ton heat pump. It says 12, 2007, but um, yeah, that's right. So yeah, 18 years. I gotta get them some estimates. All right, on that one, I got approval to do a change out on that one. So hopefully this is one I'm gonna try to do a good video on and be a part of the installation. So stay tuned for that and I'll bring it to you as soon as I have it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hike the video. I'll catch you on the next one.